The very good news is, and you heard about that uh, maybe already, but uh, now it's really time to confirm that TGO is very much, very successfully inserted into the orbit. So we got all the confirmations we needed at this time. So the successful orbit in section is really, insertion is really confirmed. So that means the TGO is now ready for science and at the same time ready for data relay, which we need for the 2020 <coughs> mission. And again, I can repeat, TGO is for us a cornerstone of the ExoMars 2016 as well as 2020 missions. So the readiness is fully confirmed and we are in full control of the spacecraft. Of course, you're also interested about the, the lander. It, is, it was a very complex maneuver, as you know, Sunday, the separation from the mothership, then a full automatic descent sequence started, uh, reaching the planet, uh, then entering the atmosphere and all of this. Um, and again, I repeat uh, that EDM, this lander, was a test. And as we are always doing when we are doing tests, we are putting some sensors on board. So in this case, we have many sensors on board to monitor each and every step um, what uh, the lander is doing. And I can tell you the data of these sensors was received by the mothership. And uh, Andrea Akumatze will give you some information about information about the, the analysis uh, which could be done so far. Um, again, this will take some time, but right now we have data from the lander and you will see uh, how far this goes. In summary, and this is again important, the important message is, ExoMars 2016 is oriented towards a multi-year Martian science to search for trace gases, to search for life, to say it in simpler words, in the atmosphere. This part is really 100% now in, uh, in the future of us, so we will uh, succeed with that. At the same time, it has another function which is very important as a relay station for the 2020 mission when we would like to do crown science on Mars. And again, also this one is established, so the relay station is established. 